Hey Study Fam, welcome to our 20 minute beginner treadmill workout. If you have just purchased your treadmill and you were looking for a place to start, this one is for you. Hey Sunny community, welcome. If this is your first time here, I want to introduce myself. I am your trainer, Sam Candler, and I'm going to guide you through today's 20 minute beginner treadmill workout. Now we have tons of new treadmill and body weight classes released each and every week. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and stay up to date on our newest releases. So for now, we're gonna get started and here's what you need to know. One, I am going to guide you through every step of the way of this beginner workout. Two, we're going to be focusing on intervals. So that means we're gonna have efforts and then recoveries. This is doable. In fact, let go of any ideas of speed today and just focus on getting comfortable on your treadmill and on working out with me. We got that? Perfect. Then right here, right now, we are just going to walk. So here, you're gonna choose a walking pace that feels comfortable for you. Believe it or not, it's, there is such thing as going too slow to feel comfortable. So I'm at that point right now and I just wanna pick it up just a little. So I have a nice natural stride. That's it. So intervals mean that we're gonna do a period of work and then a period of recovery. And every time we recover, that's going to be our walking time. So we are gonna use intervals not only in our workout, but also in our warm up. That'll give you a little glimpse of what's ahead. So in about 10 seconds, we're gonna head into a jog. We're just gonna stay there for 20 seconds and we'll come right back here to this walk. Are we ready? Let's find our way into a jog now. And we're just holding 20 seconds. That's it. You're just getting your bearings and there are no speed requirements. You may choose to jog at the exact same pace you walked and that's just fine. We just want a little pep in your step. We've got three two, one, we're gonna take it down into our walk, slowing down as the treadmill slows down. And just like that, that's our first interval. Not so bad, right? So we're gonna walk here for a minute and then we're going to do a second jog as part of our interval, or as part of our warm up. Now, this jog might be the same pace or maybe you feel a little more confident and you wanna play around with your speed a little bit. Any pace you choose, just make sure you feel in control. So here, as we walk, we just focus on slowing our heart rate, slowing our breathing. But in 15 seconds, we're back up to another 20 second jog. We'll hold for 20 seconds and then we're right back down to this walk. We ready? So five seconds, I'm gonna start adding some speed now. That's it, so I'm done with all my button pressing by the time the 20 seconds starts. And away we go. We're still in warm up mode, testing our gears. We're getting our body warmed up, our joints loosened. That's it, three, two, one. We'll take it back down. Being patient as our treadmill slows down and we wanna slow down with it. I'm sure you've seen some people at the gym or something like that, jumping off to the sides of their treadmill and then letting the treadmill slow down. But that's really not something I recommend. We run a risk of getting hurt that way. And plus, there is a lot of benefit to teaching our bodies how to slow down. So just be patient, stay with the treadmill, and you'll be just fine. Now we have one more 20 second warm up jog before we start to talk about what the, the real meat of this workout will look like. So yet again, I encourage you to have a little curiosity with this. Kind of get to know your speeds here. You don't have to tell anyone else your speeds and I'm not gonna tell you mine because it doesn't matter to you, right? You do you, let's add our speed now. And we'll go, we've got 20 seconds here. That's it, our feet are hopefully leaning right underneath our bodies. So we're taking shorter steps that enable that to happen. So arms swing by our sides. Three, two, one. Back down to our walk. So this walk here is the last minute of our warm up, and it serves as a bridge into our workout. 
when we get into our actual workout, we're gonna extend our efforts, our intervals, to at first 30 seconds. Here's what I wanna do in those 30 seconds. 20 seconds of jogging, just like we, we did three times in our warm up. But then we're gonna go just a tad bit faster for the last 10 seconds. So that faster doesn't have to be anything scary. It could be just 0.1 mile an hour faster. Just one little uptick on your up arrow. We'll start that one in 15 seconds. So we're gonna do this exact same interval twice. It's gonna be 20 seconds at a jog, 10 seconds a little bit faster, and then we walk. We have five seconds, so we'll add our speed on now. And we jog in three, two, and one, keeping those feet right underneath our body. And again, today don't worry about a whole lot on your form. Just get to know the treadmill. We have entire avenues in which we're gonna teach you everything you need to know on your form. I just want you to be comfortable. Get to know yourself. Now we're gonna add a little bit of speed. Just reach down, hit that up arrow. Maybe it's once, maybe it's two or three times. Four, three, two, one, walk. We did it. Walk as slow as you wanna go. You're gonna take longer steps here, slower steps here. When we do that, we slow our breathing. When we slow our breathing, we slow our heart rates. And that just makes us ready to work again. Now, yes, form does matter, but I don't want you to worry so much about each and every little detail on your form. Right now, just try to get your feet landing underneath your body. Have your arms swinging by your sides. You know how to run. Our bodies were made for this. We'll perfect those form details down the road. Okay, in 10 seconds, we're gonna do that exact same interval again. 20 seconds at a jog, 10 seconds a little faster. We have five seconds, so we're gonna add our speed now. Three, two, one. Here we go in our 20 seconds. Chest is open. That's another one we can focus on because in our chest are our lungs. They need room to expand. And we add a little speed in three, two, one. And so maybe we were at a jog and now we're kind of breaking into a run. Maybe we were at a jog and now we're in just a faster jog. Three, two, one, you recover. It's quick, huh? Quick, and I dare say, painless. You can do this. That's one of the really cool things about running together as a sunny community, is that we can encourage each other, we can be with each other each and every step of the way. And you know that I fully know and believe way down deep in here that you can do this. And look, you already are proving me right. Now we're going to do two more intervals in a similar style. We're going to start again at 20 seconds of jogging. This time we're gonna move up to 20 seconds at that slightly faster pace. No big deal. We'll start in eight seconds, so you gotta get in your head that you're ready. Five seconds, probably time to add speed. Three, two, and one, we go in our 20 second jog. That's it. And we add speed in five seconds, we hold it for 20 seconds in three, two, one, and we go. That's it. 10 more seconds here. I know your body's thinking it's time to stop, but remember we added on that 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Slow it down. We got this. Go as slow as you want. Now on our speeds, the only reason I even care that you look at your speeds is just so you know for the future. It's just data. So I don't want you to have any expectations with your speeds. I want you to just go off of feel. But if you can attach that feeling 
to a certain number, that gives you more information for next time. In 20 seconds, we're going to do one more interval exactly like what we just did. It's 10 seconds now. We get our head in the game. Five seconds, we get our treadmills in the game. Three, two, one, here we go. 20 seconds at this jog. That's it. I bet there's part of you that feels like, well, I could go faster right now. That's awesome. But just be patient. We are gonna add that speed right now. 20 seconds out of run and we're in it. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, recover. Good work. So by now, our warm up is done. So is our first working set of intervals. All we have left is one more set, very similar to what we just did. We'll have two 30 second efforts and two 40 second efforts. Oh. We're just going to change the game ever so slightly. Whereas in each of our 30 second efforts, we ran for, tw we jogged for 20 seconds and ran for 10. This time I want you to try that faster effort, the running effort, just for the entire 30 seconds. Then we get a minute to walk. We are going to start this second and final block of our intervals in about 35 seconds. So maybe now's a great time to get a little water. I like water with a little bit of electrolytes in it. So 20 seconds until we start. Two 30 second efforts, two 40 second efforts. All right, 10 seconds, that means our head needs to get in the game. Five seconds, that means our treadmill gets in the game. And remember, we're not starting at the jog this time, straight into that faster pace. Here we go. We are here for 30 seconds. Keep in mind that faster pace doesn't have to be brutal. Maybe you just added 0.1 to your jog speed, that's great. We have 10 more seconds. Stay with me. Get those feet landing right underneath your body. Three, two, one. Recover. That was excellent. Now you may have noticed that sometimes you can kind of see me pushing a button a few times. So that would be my speed arrows that are encouraging my treadmill to go up by 0.1 increments or down by 0.1 increments. And then sometimes I just hit a button and leave it. And those are my quick speed options. Your treadmill may have those too, where it, that when you hit that button, it'll take you right up to that number on your speed. Either one is fine. And the quick buttons, they don't have to be the exact speed you choose to run. You could hit two and then add 0.2 right from there and now you're very quickly at 2.2. All right, 10 seconds head in the game. We're doing that same interval again. Five seconds, add the speed. We're at that running pace in three, two, one, 30 seconds. That's it. Keep it bright and lively. Sometimes we have to lie to ourselves a little bit to remind ourselves that like, no, this isn't a, like some sort of death march. This is great. We lift ourselves up. This is uplifting, empowering. Three, two, one, slow it down. All right, we have two more. 
They're both 40 seconds long, no tricks, no surprises. You're just going to run for 40 seconds. Now right now, I bet up here you've got this conflicting game going on. One is, well, I'm more tired now. How am I supposed to run the longest one? The other one going, look at me. I'm doing this and I feel good and I know that I can. I can at least try. Let's focus on that second one. 10 seconds, time to get going. In five seconds, we wanna be ready for our interval. A 40 second run in three, two, one, here we go. Those arms are staying right by your sides. That's it. Breathe. The breathing gets easier the more you practice. That's it. We have 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, walk. This is our final walking recovery. We're almost there. Now, the best part is coming up, and it's honestly, it's not even the done part. The best part to me is the last interval. That's what we've been working this whole time to get to. The last interval is the glory interval. You've already done 95% of the work. You know you have this one in the bag. Enjoy it. We're going to start that one in 15 seconds. That's 10, so heads in the game. Treadmill's in the game. And so are we. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock. This is our final 40 seconds here. Keep it bright and triumphant. Picture the finish line in front. You have run the race. The finish is in sight. This is the glory. 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Walk and recover. You've done it. Now you're just going to recover here at a walk and allow your, yourself to catch your breath. Allow your muscles to slowly cool down. We don't want to go from an effort to just dead stop. It's nicer for our bodies to get that gradual return back to your resting state. So we're going to walk here. And then in a few moments, we're going to turn off our treadmills and we'll spend a moment stretching together. Now, there's something you should know. We have an amazing catalog of cool down classes and stretching classes designed for the exact purpose of getting you to feel and perform your best. So I'm gonna take you through a brief preview of that, but I highly recommend checking them out. You will love them and the difference it can make on your performance over time. Now we'll take our treadmills to a complete stop, slowing down as the treadmill slows down. And then we're gonna stay on the treadmill here for the stretch. So what I want you to do here is we're going to uh, take our right leg, step it forward. So I step my heel forward, my toes are pulled up towards me, and I'm just gonna shift my hips to the back wall. When I do that, I'm creating a stretch of my hamstring, which is the back of my thigh, and my calf. And those are two muscles that are incredibly important to running. We're gonna breathe and just hold this stretch. We're not bouncing, we're just holding. 
trying to elongate the leg as much as possible. We're going to do the same thing on your other side. Left foot forward, pull those toes back towards you, and then just send your hips to the back wall. Now this stretch is just one of countless stretches that can make all the difference in your training. So do check out our stretching classes, check out our coaches, our Sunny team is here for you. We pull those toes in towards you just a little bit more. We soak up this stretch. And then we're gonna stand tall, we're gonna take one nice deep breath in, and as we do, we're gonna raise our arms overhead, so let's do that now. Then we're gonna exhale, bring our arms down, even bring them right to your heart, because you put a lot of heart into that today. I loved working out with you, Sunny. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, if you liked this workout, like us, subscribe, and hit the bell so you stay up to date on all of our newest releases. It's been so awesome to be running with you, and I'll see you soon.